So let's look and see what that leadership looks like in an agile organization. So number one, we need leadership that recognizes that agile is a journey. Uh, and in, with this journey, we are not, it's not just a matter of saying, recognizing that there's a need for organizations to change and put in place some process and adopt some technology to be able to do that. We have to bring along everybody in that organization to get the right, like in the book, Good to Great, uh, Jim Collins says, we have to get the right people on the bus and the right people and all the people moving uh, along in, in, the, in the same direction. So that leadership needs to provide a compelling vision. Uh, and, you know, through that compelli compelling vision, they can provide some steadfast support for agility. And then they need to communicate that vision uh, and inspire people so that there's alignment throughout the organization. And so everybody is moving in the same direction. And Steve Jobs is, you know, one ex prime example of a leader who was able to do that very effectively. We need leadership that creates a trusting and safe environment where people are able to embrace an agile mindset, where people are comfortable with uncertainty, they can experiment, they feel safe to experiment and fail fast, or where there is an expectation of continuous improvement and learning is celebrated and where decentralized decision-making is the norm. Uh, send decisions down to the people who ha have the most information to be able to make those decisions. And then everyone can align to a common vision, focus on value, and master resilience. Some examples of this exist you know, in many organizations where they ensure that they, have, they create a blameless culture. Uh, one one of them that you might enjoy is um, from the CEO, the CEO of Etsy. Uh, Etsy is a company and th that some of you might be familiar with, all of you might be familiar with. Uh, uh, actually, people are able to sell um, their artists, you know, their creations on this site. The CEO of that company, Chad Dickerson, said they, they create a blameless culture. And they even have something called a three-armed sweater award. And they put the, they instilled this award because it was one of the engineers who uh, actually, I think through some wrong click, actually deleted the entire database that did not allow any Etsy employee from accessing the site. But instead of um, terminating that employee, they actually gave him this three-armed three sweater award. <laughs> uh, to say, you know, yeah, that was a mistake, but that was a spectacular mistake. But they were able to recover from it and, uh, you know, n not let that situation happen again, put in place uh, what was needed to not let that situation happen again. So in a way, this employee, they saw it as this employee helped them see a vulnerability in their system and likely will never make such a mistake again. So he got the three-armed sweater award and he stayed on. We also need